Okay, today we start off with Lapa, L A P A dot com. That's sold for 16,000 US dollars. So that's a four letter. Um, the spot on price of what I would sell any of my four letters for. But once again, this is a, a four letter that actually is pronounceable and therefore it, <clears throat> it definitely contains or holds its value. And that sold at Namejet, so great sale there. Uh, that can definitely even be resold in future because uh, pronounceable for letter.com is really good. Next one, I'm actually really excited to talk about here. I had a look at it right now. Baseball.net. Baseball.net. What a great name. It's it's actually quite a shame that no baseball players or coaches or major league baseball teams actually own that. And that one sold for 15100 at Flipper. I mean, that is a great investment. The .com, if you look at baseball.com, it actually uh, is also just a park page. So maybe the they always went to go look at the, the .com. Maybe they got quoted a, a price that was six, seven, maybe even eight figures. Baseball's huge, right? Uh, and baseball.net is what you have to settle with. It still has the keyword, and a lot of people still you know, type in .net when, they, when they're when they going to an address online when it is involving the internet. But I really, really like that sale. So baseball.net, 15,100. That could have been easily double. Uh, and it just maybe the platform or, or the people uh, needed money and uh, they don't think they could have found the right buyer or they didn't have the right broker and they uh, they sold it. So... I don't think that name is going to be available for sale anytime anytime soon. And if it is, you're probably going to have to buy the business with it. Next one up is ProShop.it. IT is the country code for Italy. Uh, ProShop, you know, it could be an e-commerce store, 12,394 US dollars. It's a good uh, IT name. We haven't really discussed IT sales. We can have a look at what is the highest IT sale ever to happen? And we can find that out now. So you go to name bio, N-A-M-E-B-I-O, and we can go to the extension .it. That's how you can search for the extension. Then you push search, and then you sort by price. The most expensive one, again, if you had said like .it, IT, good, it's also a call to action, if you can see that. So IT can also stand for it, right? So like it, like.it, 75,900. Next one is livescore.it. That would probably be any scores or sports in Italy. Next one is dieta, which is a diet in Italy, 46,303. And uh, one after that is tutor auto. Dot it tutor auto i'm not too sure what that means we can have a look google translate once again if you're italian you can probably beat me to it so let's have a look italian translate tutor auto all cars from Italian to, to English. So that's what tutor auto means. Next one up is another .it. Oh no, sorry, I'm still in the, the other exchange there. Uh, next one is houseman, H-A-U-S-M-A-N.com, 11,250 houseman. I have seen a really big sale once upon a time, which was just for the four letters of house h a u s and that's sold for it might not, not even be a reported sale but that was a six figure name h a u s so h a u s doesn't come up but i do remember when i was working at uni registry that h a u s did sell for quite a high price i would say mid six figures so that's a good one, but this one is Houseman. Next one we have is gameslearningsociety.org. 
that's not really a really great org but let's see what's the reason behind that you can search in Google and we'll see what comes up here there is an existing website games learning society.org games learning society.org they perhaps might have dropped the name or it expired and now it is sold through a GoDaddy auction so it might have had a, a lot of traffic to the name and now someone might have let it drop we can always explore that a bit more and see if there was an actual drop on the domain you can look up the who is on GoDaddy godaddy.com forward slash who is it's w-h-o-i-s dot com next one we get is tourist 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 Ica, which is the dot de address i don't know what that means we search it again you can learn languages by searching domains so that's quite interesting translate google again and you type in the domain and then you say german where is it And that's travel industry so that is a powerful name travel industry if it was travel industry dot com maybe 15 20 thousand this one sold for five thousand five hundred seventy seven so all right if you have the dot com I, I would you know price it and just make sure you're pricing it correctly because then potentially travel industry or the pronunciation of this one the people might be interested in this particular name and they'll go after the dot com once once they establish their business next one is live rooms dot com so a lot of vr and uh, vr and uh, chat is going live and people are live streaming nowadays live rooms four thousand five hundred eighty eight that's a good price uh, around five thousand yet that's a, a solid price for that name next one is igloo energy three thousand and ninety eight it could be a small energy company that is trying to do something maybe with global warming you can always break it down a domain what people are trying to do with it you just search the keywords or you can look at what they what they're trying to do so that one I think is a really interesting one actually if you look at igloo dot energy is igloo energy so what I would have done is if there was buyer coming on that name and I had that name I would already know potentially who the buyer of that domain would be because I would own the domain and if the people inquired I could see oh, okay they're probably gonna be these people and you can prepare and you can maybe find out what price you would sell that name so they did buy it for 3098 you probably could have got more if you did a bit more research and knew who you were actually selling to so that's always something to uh, look out for next one is paradise energy 2800 usd so you can see that uh, uh, energy names today are the trend and uh, paradise energy you can search that one as well and we can see where that one goes paradise energy dot com so solar panels energy paradise energy solutions you can always find this is also how you can do outbound so if you own this domain and you wanted to sell it, let's say you had an offer on the name and you wanted to sell it, you could always reach out to people that had uh, the name that is similar. So you would probably would have reached out to paradisesolarenergy.com because you literally type in the address bar, Paradise Energy, into Google. And you, you contact the first top 10 results. You email them, phone them, and you hit them up in, so in social media and you say you want to sell the domain. And here's a $5,000 tip. What you do is you go to page two of Google because the people on page two want to be on the page one for the exact same keyword. So you would also email them and they probably will be more interested for that particular keyword. And uh, that's a, a free $5,000 tip. If you do make sales because of that tip, please let me know. Um, or maybe buy me some uh, dinner sometime if I ever see you or uh, a bottle of wine. That would be nice. Uh, next one and last one of the day is music it's m-u-s-i-k dot org um, let me tell you how much that one sold for that one sold for 
$2,672. And the translation of it translated from what language? Let's see. Translated from German to English is music. So imagine music.org. We can even have a look and see what music.org. I would say if it's a different spelling, you'd probably look at maybe one tenth or maybe one fifth of the price. So if this one sold for 2,600, I would say that music, the correct spelling.org would be 10 or 20,000. That's how much I would rate it at. So let's just type music into name bio and see what comes up. Obviously we want to look under .org, but I can tell you music.mobi just for a fun fact sold for 616,000 and then musicvideos.com sold for 250,000 and just one last one here I see is download music 242,500. So you can see the value of uh, the, the music keyword there so if you had known this information and kn knew that these keywords sell for a lot of money you might have pr priced it differently but let's see in the extension of .org searching anywhere what's the highest .org sale for music and you sort again by price so radio-music.org sold for 3325 in 2009 Music Biz B I Z three thousand, so you can see the prices are around about that price, but that's for two word dot orgs. This is a one word and in German, so I think you could have got more if you had that name. Unfortunately, you know sometimes you you need to find a person that's an expert in the field of brokering domains like myself, or ask a friend, or, or read a bit more, or, or use name bio. And you can save yourself money that you've left on the table. So I would say today was the trends of, uh, I did like the music names and um, what other name was the trend of the day? It was music and music and energy. So those are the two highlights or uh, keywords that are popular today. Once again, highlight baseball.net. Great, great price. Whoever bought that, I think you got that domain for a steal, 15,000. And if you develop it, put the right keywords and even put trading cards on there, it's a huge domain. Baseball.net, absolutely huge. A sporting goods company would, would do that. I actually think we have a look at baseball.net because I think that was my domain sale of the day that I liked the most and you go to baseball.net and I can see that there's a, already a store so go have a look at baseball.net there's already a store there you put up a, a splash page you're using a, you can see you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the of the page bottom left presto shop so this person is already developing this name they had per, perhaps an idea of what they were going to do for it and they're using it hitting the ground running got an email already set up there social meet social media on there as well so i'll keep an eye out for them maybe if they hear this blog or uh, vlog uh, i wouldn't mind having an interview with them and, and ex discuss what they want to do with the name so baseball.net congratulations to you definitely the domain of the day thank you see you around